Hey guys, it's Talisa coming back to another video. So as you guys know, I've been recording on my laptop because I'm looking for a new camera. So today I'm going to be recording a different type of video. I'm tired of doing the same videos. So today I decided to go to Taco Bell and try out the new Ultimate something. Whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But it's basically a $5 um, meal. A lot of people, a lot of uh, companies, you know, restaurants and fast food restaurants have been trying to do the $5 deal. So Taco Bell did it. I'm really excited because I do love Taco Bell, but they do be kind of pricey. So this is how the bag looks. It's the ultimate something deal. So the price came out to $5.93. I remember because I'm going broke and I only had $4 in cash, so I had to use $1.93 for change. All out of change. So, um, basically in here we have, first we have some chips, and these are just some regular tortilla chips. Then we have the cheese sauce that comes with that. We have a taco. We have a special chicken burrito. Alright. And then lastly we have... A what is this? I don't know. But first, we're going to taste the nachos. So this is the cheese right here. Oh, it comes with a, with the drink also. So the drink I got was a sweet tea. So it came out the five nine three, which is really really good. So um, this is the cheese. It's pretty hot, melted, which is great. So these are the chips. It smells like. The nacho cheese from like the bowling alley and skating ring. Mm. Y'all, yeah. I'm so hungry. This tastes so good. Um, have the best amount of crunch in them. Um, the nacho cheese has a little bit of spice, which is a little bit, but to me, it's just like a nacho cheese that you got at the grocery store and you just heat it up or something. Like, it's not, like, queso and stuff that you get from, like, the Mexican restaurants or whatever, but it's really good for it to be Taco Bell, so. This is really good. Um, I've had this one time before, and it was really good, but my chips were so small. But these chips are pretty big, which is really nice, so. Pretty good. Okay. Let's try the taco. And you can choose from a soft taco. Or a hard taco, but I got a hard taco. So, um, this is how a taco looks. It's a regular taco. Um, it comes with lettuce, cheese, and the meat. It doesn't come with any tomatoes, which is good, because I don't like tomatoes. So, that's how it looks on the inside. You know, they only put a little bit of toppings in here, so I like to break mine in half. That's how it looks. So, let's just try it. Hmm. The meat is really good. A lot of people say they don't like the meat from there. But I actually like the meat from Taco Bell. I'm just a 96 baby who is used to fast food. If you had taco before, it tastes like a regular burrito. I mean, a regular taco. But if you haven't, um, it just tastes like a type of sweet type of um meat, ground beef, whatever that meat is. A type of sweet um, ground beef and a taco with um, some cheese and lettuce. doesn't have a lot of taste to it because the meat does the best tasting it has because I don't like any sauce with it. So, yeah. Okay, so next we have this, and this is soft. I think this is the chicken burrito. Or no. Is that no burrito? know what this is but it has a soft taco type of tor no a soft tortilla on the outside I think and then it has a hard like regular taco as you can tell um inside it has uh, I think sour cream the cheese it might be ranch I don't know what that is sour cream or ranch or something um cheese lettuce and then the beef so I'm gonna try to show you guys that sauce the other one didn't have a sauce in, but this one has a sauce, so that's how it looks. So let's try it. Mm. That's ranch. 
Spicy. I think that's some type of ranch or something. But it's a little bit spicy. Spicier than the um regular taco because I think the ranch has some type of spicy something in it. Or it's the beef. Mm. I feel like ranch doesn't go with um a taco. Mm. But... I'm gonna still eat it because I'm hungry. And the last thing we have is a burrito. Not the instance of burrito, for real. And I'm gonna unravel it so you can see what's in here. Oh, Jesus. It's a lot in here. Okay, so we have some type of red sauce. The white sauce also in here. We have some tomatoes, some cheese, some lettuce, and then the beef. So, I'm going to show you guys this. So, that's how that looks. So, you have the white sauce, the beef, the cheese and lettuce, and then that red sauce, which might, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that red sauce is, but... Usually, the only thing I get from Taco Bell are the um, tacos, but yeah, so it's a pretty good size. This is a pretty good meal for $5.93, I must say. And if you love Taco Bell, you will love it. So, this is kind of flimsy, though. So, let's go ahead and try this. It might have beans in here too. I'm about to go in the toilet, guys. Um, a lot is better than the one I tried before. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm has beans in here. You know, I can taste the texture. I'm not really a beans fan, but. Since it's mixed in with the rest of the stuff, you really can't taste it. Like it's not out there type of thing. This is messy. Okay. So now it's time to rate each one of these things. So, first I'm rating nachos. I think I like the nachos the best because I'm just a nacho chip type of girl. I love dipping stuff. I love dipping chips and stuff. So, I think I will let the um, nachos win first. The ratings I get the nachos are about a nine. Because since it's a fast food restaurant, you have to give it the benefit of the doubt. The cheese is melted. It's warm. Um, at least from mine, it's warm. It's melted. It's not, you know, crutchy and um, cold and stuff like that. It's um, really nice, smooth, warm. Has a little bit spicy in it, which I really love, and the cheese tastes pretty good. The chips are a little bit different than I'm used to. I'm not used to tortilla chips like this, but like I said, the fast restaurant, I got this meal for $5.93, and I got it in like two minutes. So, hey, so that's pretty good. Give that a non. Um, next is the regular taco, which was this one. Um, I love tacos, but I thought this taco should have something else in it. I know that you can add things in it or whatever, but I'm just saying for my preference that um, I get, this is the generic type of uh, combination they gave me, I guess. But um, I feel like you should definitely have more meat in here, which I think Taco Bell should do that for all their things they have. But just in general, talking about this combination, I think this adds a really nice combination to this meal because everybody loves a regular taco. So it's pretty good. Okay, next we have this. This might be a chalupa. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but it has the taco in the middle and then it has the sauce on the outside. Whoever knows what this is, comment down below and tell me because I know what this is. But this will be so much better if it did not have that ranch sauce in it. And as you can tell, it has it um, on the outsides right here hanging out. Um, If it did not have that in there, I feel like it would be a lot better because as you can tell, there's a lot of that sauce in there. All that white stuff is that sauce. So I feel like there's just too much sauce. There's too much ranch. Why is ranch in the taco? 
I don't know, but I probably would rate this as a um a five because I don't like ranch in it. No. And I didn't rate the other taco. The other taco I give a seven because it's a normal everyday taco. And the last thing I have is this burrito. And like I said, this burrito has beans in it. It has the uh, tomatoes, um, lettuce, cheese, and then it has the beef. And then it has a type of red sauce in it. It has a little bit of the ranch in it, but it's not a lot. Um, I like this. I don't particularly like burritos because I don't like how flimsy they are. But just the taste of it, it tastes fairly good to me. I feel like this one has a lot more seasoning in it than any other other things that I tasted. And um, the beans don't overpower the whole thing. Like sometimes I put a lot of beans, a little bit of meat. But I feel like this combination is really good. So this is a pretty good um, meal right here. I just particularly don't like um, burritos because it's too soggy. But So you guys, this is the end of my review for the Taco Bell $5.00 combination meal um, it came with nachos a drink a regular taco hard or soft whatever that combination taco soft tortilla thing was and then the burrito so five things for about five dollars and tax was 93 cent or something i don't know it came out at 5.93 so that's what i paid for these items um overall i pretty much like this combination but would i buy it again probably not because i'm not really a taco bell fanatic I like the nachos and I like the taco, regular taco, but all these different burritos and things, I think I'm just not into that. So I would probably just buy the nachos and a taco by itself. But if you're a person who loves different things from Taco Bell, I think you should definitely try this out. Um, Definitely go try it out. I actually really like it. So if you like this video, just comment down below. Give me some more video ideas pertaining things like this um like this video make sure you thumbs up to see more videos and also make sure you subscribe wherever it's at make sure you subscribe because it's free y'all know y'all love me <laughs> so you guys hope you like this video don't forget to like comment, subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye